Hey everyone, welcome to this video in which I'll be trying to share with you some ideas that I've got for home decor. Summer landscape and summer portrait. Oh no, that's not very helpful. <coughs> So I've been doing quite a bit of searching for some pictures to put on my walls in the living room. They're a cream colour so they're looking quite bare. So I've been searching, searching, searching for some art to go up on the walls. I did pick up a couple of bits in b and I'll show them to you in, later on in the video. And I went looking in Primark as well couple of weeks ago and I picked this up thinking it was sort of a picture in a frame that could go on the wall. It's one of those it can go on the wall or it can be you know resting on your tabletop or whatever windowsill but it's actually a photo frame so I'm going to see if I can find something else to put in here instead so i feel a bit silly now for getting this thinking it was that was the picture but we live and learn anyway so then i had an idea i've been watching again quite a few videos looking at things on pinterest etc and i was looking to see if anything sort of like met my expectations met what i was looking for but i, I couldn't find anything and then, I don't know how it came about, but postcards came up on my, you know, recommended for you thing on Amazon. So I thought, ah, maybe if I get some postcards of like artwork and stuff like that, and then frame them myself. So then I went all into looking at different frames and deciding which one I wanted to go for. And then there's like wooden frames, white frames, black frames. So in the end, I went for, I've got another two on order, which are, I can't remember whether they're ones that have got three spaces for postcards or five. I can't remember offhand, but I will show them to you in a future video. Um, so this is a seven aperture frame as they call it so summer landscape summer portrait um it wasn't very much i think it was 11 pounds something like that i got some postcards to fit in here so i'm going to show you in a minute me looking through the postcards and choosing which ones to put in here and the beauty of this is if i get bored of the ones that's in the frame I can change them. Yay. Now there are absolutely loads of postcard sets on Amazon. There's, I was very tempted by, I think it was Penguin Books. They've got a collection of postcards. I'll put a picture up here. They've got a collection of postcards of front covers of books with Going, going through all the letters of the alphabet from A to Z. Um, the authors, like Jane Austen, and I, I can't remember anyway, but if you look at the product on Amazon, it'll show you. I was really tempted by them. I mean, I may well get them for somewhere else in the house. Might be quite novel to have something like that in the toilet. In the end, I went for this one. I think this was 11 99 and there are a hundred different postcards in here by 10 different designers so you open it up and then there are 10 postcards by each of the designers so there's Sonia Cavallini, Nerve Flehan, Carolyn Gavin, Jen Hewitt, Sam Calder, Mark Martin, Angela McKay, Clover Robin, Wee van der Veld and Rose Wong. So I'll just show you 
a couple. Then you've got some that are sort of on trend. As such, these are Mark Martin. So he's produced like some like this. And they are actual postcards. You could use them as postcards. So that's just an example of what sort of thing you're getting. So I'm going to crack open the frame now, have a play around with some pictures, see which ones I like best and put it all together. I've got it out of its frame. Oh, Lola's coming to have a check on what I'm doing. So I need to turn it round the other way and open it up from the back to get to the bits where the postcards will show through. So I'll see you in a minute when I do that. I need two hands to do it. So I've got it open now. So I'm now going to make up a short list of postcards that I like try some of them out and then see how we go from there. Right, so I've sort of um, done a short list because some are landscape and some are portrait. Oh no, that's not very helpful. So it's just a question now of choosing seven of them and putting them in. As I've been looking through them, I've, I've been thinking it would be nice to change them up seasonally. Some of these here that I've picked out now are sort of like summery. There's some sort of like beachy type one there and hot places. Some of these ones, these are obviously all that you can tell that they're the same artist. Um, remind me very much of so this is an example of a piece by Henri Rousseau that we used to study in Key Stage 1. Um, the sort of like rainforest paintings. I'll put the name of the artist on screen. I can't remember it off the top of my head. But yeah, they remind me very much of those. So I'm going to choose seven and then see what they look like and show you. And these are the seven that I went with in the end. So I'll just hold it up. Put it. So I can easily change these for the seasons. So I'm quite happy with that. Sure, by a genius. I'm to choosing some more for the other frames that come. That's it for this video. I'll link everything that I bought from Amazon down below and a link to the Penguin Books set as well. I'll catch you next time in another video. Until then, bye for now.